Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is a Audi and Asda grocery haul. I don't fit to your bars, beauty queens with no gloves. So I'm going to start with Audi and then we'll move on to Asda. I've got some reduced bits in Asda as well, which I'll show you. But oh my gosh, I can't believe how much every week we go food shopping. It just goes up that little bit more with everything that we buy. And I've noticed like even olive oil used to be like £3.69 and now it's £4.49. Everything's just gone up like that little bit more. Even like soy yogurt used to be 8 p now it's one pound five. But anyway, I'll shut up. Let's get into this haul and see what goodies that we bought. So here's a quick overview of everything that we got. But we stocked up on some white potatoes. I would normally get the wonky ones, but the wonky ones are more like new potatoes with the size of them at the moment. So I haven't been getting them, so I can't make chips out of them. Well, the chip size that I would like anyway. I think these were like £1.59 or something. So here's a look over the receipt. Potatoes were £1.25. So here's a little look at how much everything was. And it can come to £52.88 from Aldi. So we got... Chip Shop Curry Snack Mix. I haven't had Bombay Mix in ages. And when I saw it, they had a Chip Shop Curry. Anything Chip Shop Curry, I'm there. I will literally devour it. Can't wait to try that. And I've got the Audi Magazine as per usual. We've got some Biscoff Spread because I'm absolutely loving Biscoff Spread with an apple. Like chopped up apple and scooping up Biscoff Spread. Try it. Don't knock it too, try it. It's, it's delicious. We've got some chocolate chip cookies, milk chocolate OTs, olive oil, the usual squash 1.5 litre because it's so much cheaper getting the 1.5 litre than the one litre bottle of squash because then it works out cheaper. Then we have a mint cream. I always check it every week just to see if like, they've changed any ingredients because sometimes they do that. Companies do, but what is that? Sorry, I just got distracted by the root of that parsnip. So we've got some wonky carrots and we've got some wonky parsnips. Also got fruit, wheats, raisins. These are for Adam, not for me. We've got chocolate orange pillows. Oh my God, um, I tried one of these the other night. They're actually really nice. But Adam has a thing for cereal in the evening. And it's so freaking good. Also, just a little disclaimer. I'm vegan slash vegetarian. I say vegan slash vegetarian because sometimes when I'm on holiday, I eat vegetarian. That's why I'm saying that in this video. But my partner is not. So we always have a very mixed haul. So we have some sweeties, which are vegan, which we love. We've got teeth and lips, which are my absolute favourites. I literally love these because they're so squidgy. Um, then we've got a gummy mix and jelly cherries. I literally love them sweets and they are super cheap, thankfully. Then we have a massive bag of British red apples. I'm pretty sure this is $2.99. Works out so much cheaper getting the bigger bag. And we go through them quite well now, especially with me eating one in the evening with a biscoff spread. So we have some garlic baguette. This was like 39p, I'm pretty sure. And this is, in fact, vegan. This is probably one of the main places with vegan baguettes. Because, like, most places I've gone to... Well, I say most places. I don't really look that much. But when I have looked in, like, Morrison's, I can't find a vegan one. I'm always vegetarian. Um, so we got two of them. But we like to put them in the freezer. And Adam, like, randomly craves garlic bread. And I'm like, I'm going to join you with that. So we end up putting one of them in the oven. So we have a cucumber. Part of our weekly essential. Alongside lettuce. Iceberg lettuce. It always has to be iceberg lettuce. Random question. But if you buy lettuce, what is your favourite one to buy? Let me know in the comments down below. Because we... Well, I won't buy anything else but iceberg because I love how, how crunchy it is. And it's just like, I don't know, I just prefer it. It's more fresh than like romaine lettuce or little, is it little gem or something? I don't particularly like them as much. I'll choose this every time. We've got two bunches of bananas because we go through them quite a lot. We've got a broccoli. We've got some blueberries and we've got some strawberries. And then for Adam, we've got some chicken breast for the freezer, cheddar slices. Instead of his meat trimmings, we've got the hot and spicy chicken breast slices for him for work next week instead. And then the actually vanilla soy yogurt, which I get every week. Like I said, it's gone up in price, which is a bit poo. Then we have the protein yogurt pots. Literally everyone raves about this on TikTok from what I've heard. I just wish that they did a vegan version because that's something I won't eat is like direct dairy. I don't like it. See, when I say I'm going, when I'm on holiday and I go vegetarian, I still won't have like this kind of stuff, like yogurts. I don't like direct dairy. Dairy. If it was in something, I don't mind, but like when it's like direct like this, I won't eat it. So, but yeah, anyway, moral of the story. We've got strawberry and salted caramel for Adam. I know we picked up some toothpaste, 99p this was. Triple action. Love the, love the taste of that. Is that, is that weird? We love uh, fresh breath. That was really random of me. <laughs> so we've got some curry powder medium spice because I needed that for my meal plan because my meal plan, a lot of the time, because I have a, a coach that does my meal plan, my workout plans, there's always curry powder in a lot of my um, 
curry recipes. <laughs> Does that make sense? So also got some salt because we ran out of that. That was one pound thirty five. Sorry, when when did that go up from like sixty nine p? Come on, Aldi, bring it back down. Then we've got some chickpeas in water. As I always like to have them in the cupboard. They're like cupboard essentials: chickpeas and coconut milk for when I make curries. And then baked beans. I'm gonna plan on having a vegan fry up this weekend. I say fry up. Fry up is never a fry up. It just goes in the oven. So moving on to Asda. So from Asda, we picked up these raspberry flavour mini rolls. Oh my gosh, I love these as a kid. I just can't believe how delicious they are for tiny little things, and they're like 55p. So I love those. And then we got the fruit flavoured lollies, because I was going to get some ice creams in Aldi, but they didn't have the ice cream cones that I like. They only had the hazelnut ones. I don't really like hazelnut ice creams. I wanted the strawberry ones, so they didn't have any, so I got these in Asda. I think these are £1.9p. Which I thought was really good. And then we got the Oggs Aqua Aquahabia. <laughs> Aquafabia. I really should just like it's literally chickpea water, isn't it? So really I should just save the water out of that and see if I can use it. That'd be good for like not wasting things, wouldn't it? I think this was like 175. I could be wrong. And uh, then I picked up some custard because I'm planning on making. Stick around and subscribe if you're new because I do weekend vlogs as well. I'm planning on making this crumble this weekend. Pear and berry nut oat crumble. So I thought, you know what, it'd be best if we got some custard. So I picked that up. And I'm also going to make these. Briny's Any Fruit Muffins, 22p per serving. And then I'm also going to make these into um, vegan gluten-free flapjacks. So if you want to see me making them at the weekend, stick around and subscribe. Because I'll be making those in the next video. And then we got some jam. This was... 40p i'm pretty sure that because i've got the jam for the um flapjack recipe then they had tender stem broccoli on offer for 99p at the front of the store so i picked that up because i love tender stem broccoli then picked up my favorite caramel nugget chalky bar this has gone up to one pound 50 it used to be a pound oh <laughs> then we got some cadbury's white fingers didn't actually realize that i didn't pick them up to be fair um, then we have some warburton's thins these were one pound 45 and then it picked up these tartlets Oreo double cream because I can't have Oreos any other way. They have to be double cream, otherwise I just feel like they're not worth eating. I just love the double cream. It's just the creaminess. Love it. And then also got the Crunch Cream Chocolate Orange. Oh my god, they sound divine. Adam picked them up with the tartlets for him to have tonight. And then we got some jammy dodgers. Adore these. Also got mini rolls, raspberry. Sorry, can we talk about how mini rolls, like actual mini rolls from Cadbury, have gone up to like two pound twenty five for five of them? What? What happened to the days of you getting five for a pound? It's ridiculous. And I noticed these were new. Cadbury Delight Soft Nugget Salted Caramel. They, oh, they sound divine. They sound like a Milky Way with caramel on top. That's what they sound like, covered in chocolate. And then also got this in the reduced section. Meat-free mints. Um, it was £2.50 down to 96p. I have got plenty of vegan mints in the freezer. But I was like, you know what? If it's reduced, we got to get it. Then we got some almond milk because we... Couldn't get any in Al Aldi again because they seem to have a shortage of almond milk in Aldi. It's very strange. And I got pear halves tinned uh, for that recipe, the crumble recipe. And then I got some icing sugar because I'm completely out from baking that carrot cake. If you watched that vlog, you would have seen how much of a fail it was. I used like so much icing sugar. And then lastly, got some Warburton's bagels. I was actually devastated that we couldn't get any in the reduced section. <laughs> <laughs> such tight ass. i hardly ever pay full price for anything when it comes to bread but the these were i think 145 or the 165 but that is everything that we picked up i'm now going to eat a curry that i meal prepped in last week's vlog which is delicious and uh i hope you've enjoyed and enjoyed everything that we got here like i said in the comments really random one let me know what lettuce you prefer if you like lettuce. And that's a really random thing, but is it just me that only likes iceberg? Weird debate, let me know in the comments. But other than that, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do give it a big thumbs up if you have. It really, really helps me out and it lets me know if you guys have enjoyed this video. Comment down below, like I said, about iceberg lettuce. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next vlog, which will be a weekend vlog. So we're gonna do some gardening, some baking, and it is the bank holiday weekend. So I'll be taking you along for that. So I really hope you enjoy and I'll see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye. I don't fit till your body's beauty